On a tempestuous evening in Metafield, the skies thundered with great force, heralding a significant event. Laura and Daniel Anderson were a mix of excitement and apprehension as they awaited the arrival of their triplets. The severe storm, the worst in recent times, seemed to mirror the upheaval within the neonatal intensive care unit, NICU, where their triplets, Oliver, Amelia, and Grace, arrived prematurely. The infant's soft yet vital cries barely broke through the chaos of the storm, signifying the difficult path ahead. In the NICU, the atmosphere was charged with palpable tension. The relentless beeping of medical equipment stood in stark contrast to the wild disorder of the storm raging outside. Laura and Daniel observed with anxious faces, every faint breath of the newborns poignantly underscoring the fragile equilibrium of life. The medical team worked with swift precision, yet a somber mood pervaded, shadowing everyone's spirits. Hope flickered like a delicate flame, vulnerable to the fierce winds that could extinguish it. In a moment of perceptive foresight, a seasoned nurse, who had witnessed many life beginnings and endings, proposed a critical intervention. She advised that the triplets be placed together in a single incubator, a method not often employed but now seemingly vital. She theorized that their collective presence could bolster the strength they each lacked due to their premature births. As the triplets were gently positioned side by side, their tiny hands eventually intertwined, an innate search for comfort in a daunting new world. This simple gesture had a profound effect. The monitor soon displayed a marked improvement in their vital signs. It appeared as if the triplets, through their touch, forged a silent agreement to overcome the challenges they faced. This pivotal moment not only signified a turn in their battle for survival but also showcased the incredible bond they shared. The medical staff and the parents watched in awe as the triplets, together in their fight, began to show signs of recovery. Despite the storm's continued fury outside, inside the NICU, a sense of hope and wonder began to bloom. The Anderson triplets, with their resolve to remain united, exhibited remarkable resilience that inspired everyone present. The spark they ignited became a vital force, demonstrating that strength arises from unity, even in the most fragile beginnings. As Oliver, Amelia, and Grace started to stabilize, the storm outside seemed less daunting, overshadowed by the powerful display of unity and resilience within the hospital walls. As they faced each challenge, Laura and Daniel Anderson grew stronger daily, their bond intensifying into something almost tangible within the sterile environment of the neonatal intensive care unit. Their silent communication, a profound display of the power inherent in resilience and connection, became a source of inspiration and awe. In the quiet halls of the hospital, the delicate gestures of soft touches and meaningful glances between them showcased their profound rapport, captivating those around them. This form of nonverbal communication fascinated the hospital staff, with seasoned nurses and doctors often reflecting on the deep, almost mystical connection they witnessed. It served as a poignant reminder of the unexpected marvels that sometimes emerge in the realm of medicine. Previously overwhelmed by despair, Laura and Daniel now marveled as their triplets, Oliver, Amelia, and Grace, grew stronger each day. Each minor triumph in the triplets' journey alleviated the couple's anguish and slowly healed their broken hopes. The resilience shown by the triplets, reflected in their steady progress, renewed their parents' strength and stood as a potent symbol of the enduring power of love and faith in surmounting adversity. This miraculous evolution was set against the backdrop of the Andersons' challenging pursuit of parenthood. Laura's battle with infertility, marked by a turbulent series of ups and downs, had pushed their endurance to the brink. The arrival of the triplets was not only a victory over medical obstacles but also the fulfillment of a long-held dream, a fantasy transformed into reality. Every smile and milestone from the triplets was met with profound gratitude, a quiet celebration of the miracle that had blessed their lives. Unaware of their significant impact, the triplets thrived, their existence a continual source of joy and wonder. Laura and Daniel often found themselves simply watching their children, astonished at the lucky twist of fate that had brought them into their lives. The journey from despair to joy, from longing to fulfillment, enriched their family story with a range of emotions, marked by steadfast hope and the unyielding spirit of love. In Oliver, Amelia, and Grace, they saw the physical manifestation of their deepest desires, a testament to the miracle of life that had altered their existence. In the NICU, 
where every heartbeat and breath epitomizes the strength to endure, the Anderson triplets narrated a story far beyond mere survival. Their path of gradual recovery became a beacon of hope, lighting up the dim corridors, I am the mechanical hum of the hospital, each minor success the families achieved resonated deeply with others on similar paths, transforming the space usually dominated by the sound of equipment into a sanctuary filled with shared goals and dreams. Laura and Daniel, who had felt intense isolation on their journey towards becoming parents, found solace and camaraderie among a group of NICU parents. Forged in the crucible of shared fears and hopes, this community provided crucial support and strength. The interactions between Laura, Daniel, and other families created a unique tapestry of fear, hope, and resilience, a rich mosaic of human experiences. These interactions deepened their understanding that they were not alone, with empathetic glances and gentle words between them nurturing a profound bond rooted in their common experiences. Amid the sterile environment of the hospital, punctuated by the beeps of monitors and the quiet footsteps of the medical staff, Laura and Daniel underwent a significant transformation. The overwhelming fear that loomed over their initial days began to wane, replaced by a steadfast determination shaped by their challenges. This resolve, a pledge to create a sanctuary of love and warmth for their children Oliver, Amelia, and Grace, established the groundwork for their future. The trials they encountered not only strengthened their familial ties but also forged their unity. Their shared journey through the NICU, celebrating each small victory and offering mutual support through every challenge, built a foundation of mutual support and unconditional love. In the quiet moments spent watching their children sleep peacefully, Laura and Daniel fully realized the extent of their transformation. The ordeal through the NICU, fraught with hurdles, not only ensured their children's survival but also reshaped the essence of their family. The story of the Anderson triplets, woven with themes of survival and healing, served as a powerful testament to the enduring strength of hope and the impressive power of unity. As the triplets thrived, so too did the vitality of their parents, rejuvenated by the challenges they had overcome and ready to move forward with a renewed sense of love and purpose. The crisp morning air heralded a new beginning as Laura and Daniel Anderson prepared to bring their triplets home from the hospital. What began as a time marked by fear and uncertainty was now transitioning to a hopeful journey towards a bright future. Oliver, Amelia, and Grace, who once fought for every breath as fragile newborns, were now ready to embark on the next chapter of their lives, nurtured by love and fortified by the resilience of their family. Now departing the hospital as vibrant, healthy children, they exemplify the miraculous events that occur within the confines of the NICU. As the years passed, the trio of triplets developed a stronger bond, shaping them into individuals who were as renowned for their unique characters as they were for their unity. Their interactions, an effortless blend of innate understanding and collective support, drew the attention and wonder of those around them. It appeared that their early struggles had instilled a profound connection within them, one that silently conveyed love, resilience, and a touch of the mystical. This extraordinary connection between Oliver, Amelia, and Grace became a beacon of inspiration and wonder, underscoring the transformative power of shared experiences and the enduring bonds that emerge from them. The saga of the Anderson triplets has not only enchanted their family but also all who have learned of their remarkable journey. Their story serves as a potent reminder of the often inexplicable forces that unite families, forces as real and essential as the love that is the foundation of family life. As time progressed, the tale of the Anderson triplets extended beyond their home, touching the lives of those who heard it. For Laura and Daniel, the recollections of the intense days and nights spent beside neonatal incubators remain vivid, sharply contrasting with the warmth and laughter that now permeate their days. The fear that once gripped their hearts has been transformed and reshaped by the journey they embarked on together. The triplets, recognizing the miraculous nature of their early days, hold their shared bond in deep reverence. This bond, forged in adversity, has become a cornerstone of strength and comfort that has guided them from their very first moments of life. Their story, a symphonic narrative of unity and individuality, continues to resonate and inspire, showcasing the lasting power of familial love and the mysterious ties that interlace lives. The fusion of love's power and the resilience of the human spirit emerges as a beacon of hope, emphasizing the strength of unity. For the Anderson family, the transition from the uncertainties of the neonatal intensive care unit, NICU, 
to the joyful chaos of family life highlights a profound truth within the essence of human existence, it is the threads of love, resilience, and unbreakable connections that weave the most enduring patterns, intertwining a family's journey from adversity to triumph. After hearing this story, do you have any thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below, and then there is a similar warm story. Let's continue! Whitney Quinton has bravely navigated a tumultuous journey over the past two decades, grappling with the relentless discomfort of endometriosis and adenomyosis. These medical conditions have inflicted severe uterine pain on her. Despite these challenges, Whitney remained determined not to let her health issues steer the course of her life. After marrying her cherished partner, Brett, the couple was blessed with a son named Ronan, bringing a sense of fulfillment and promise to the young family. Even amid Whitney's recurring pain, the family of three thrived, embodying the quintessence of a loving, ideal family unit, and they harbored dreams of adding more members to their family. Motivated by the desire to give Ronan a sibling, Whitney and Brett embarked on another journey to conceive a few years after Ronan's birth. Fully aware of the possible obstacles given Whitney's health conditions, they embarked on this path with relentless optimism. Whitney, filled with hope, would take new pregnancy tests daily, eagerly awaiting a positive result. After enduring a prolonged period of setbacks, their dedication finally bore fruit as Whitney became pregnant, marking a jubilant milestone for the couple who were deeply committed to nurturing the pregnancy. However, their happiness was abruptly curtailed. During the festive season of the winter holidays in 2018, amidst family celebrations, Whitney suffered a heartbreaking miscarriage, tragically losing the baby before they had the chance to meet. The loss devastated both Whitney and Brett, leaving them to grapple with profound grief after such an extended period of anticipation for a new addition to their family. In the aftermath of the miscarriage, Whitney was engulfed by sorrow. She spent many nights weeping, tormented by nightmares and inexplicable physical discomforts, and found herself dependent on a variety of medications just to achieve a modicum of relief. Brett, deeply concerned and empathetic, remained steadfastly by her side, providing unwavering support although Whitney had become a mere shadow of her vibrant self. He understood the depth of their shared sorrow but held on to a glimmer of hope that she might consider trying for another child when she felt ready. Whitney's health, however, continued to decline, with the pain becoming relentless. Nearly three years after their devastating loss, she underwent a necessary surgery to address her endometriosis, which had become intolerable. The surgery proved successful, and in a twist of fate, it coincided with some unexpectedly joyous news at the doctor's office. The couple, who had been yearning for another child, were overjoyed to learn that they were expecting again. Filled with renewed hope and determination, they fully committed to ensuring the well-being of their unborn daughter, eagerly anticipating the opportunity to give Ronan a little sister. Overwhelmed with excitement, Whitney and Brett promptly attended an ultrasound appointment, where they discovered they were expecting a beautiful baby girl. However, during the scan, Whitney sensed something was amiss. Although she couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was, she noticed that the intense reflection and prayer. The process of waiting for the ultrasound results had been longer than usual, which had initially caused Brittany a great deal of anxiety. Brett had tried to calm her by asserting that everything was probably all right. Unfortunately, their relief was fleeting. Shortly after the scan, they were approached by a radiologist whose demeanor was heavy with the weight of impending bad news. With compassion in her voice, she carefully explained that the prolonged scanning was due to several significant abnormalities detected in their unborn daughter. The little girl's heart was not in the correct position, she had developed only one kidney, her long bones were not growing as expected, and there were malformations in parts of her hands and feet. The gravity of the situation hit Brittany like a wave, shattering her sense of stability. The doctor gently inquired whether they wished to continue with the pregnancy or needed some time to consider their options. Overcome with grief, Brittany's reaction was visceral. She screamed, her knees buckling under the strain of her sorrow, tears cascading down her face in a torrent of despair. Brett, equally devastated, cried quietly, trying to support his wife by embracing her and helping her to stand, though she was too overwhelmed to react. The following two weeks were torturous for Brittany and Brett as they grappled with the decision before them. 
they sought divine intervention and visited multiple medical facilities, hoping for a different prognosis. Unfortunately, the diagnosis was the same everywhere, their daughter was critically ill, and her prospects for survival were bleak. Despite the heartache, the couple found themselves unable to stop yearning for the chance to hold their daughter, to give her a life filled with love and care, no matter the challenges she might face. To them, she was perfect and beautiful in every way, deserving of every chance to live. They recognized a certain selfishness in their desire to see her live with such severe medical issues, as her life would undoubtedly be different from that of other children. However, their overwhelming love for her transcended these concerns. They faced a painful choice about whether to continue the pregnancy, knowing that each option carried profound emotional repercussions. Brittany, in particular, found herself paralyzed, unable to consider the possibility of terminating the pregnancy. Together, they sought spiritual guidance, spending days in prayer and contemplation, hoping for a sign or some clarity on what would be best for their beloved daughter. After much reflection and prayer, Brittany reached the profound conclusion that it was not her place to prematurely end her baby's life, despite the challenges ahead. Determined to spare her child any undue suffering, she chose to proceed with an induced labor, which the hospital scheduled for the following week. In preparation, Brittany began the necessary medical regimen. However, just days before the scheduled induction, Brittany's health took a drastic turn for the worse. Her vision became blurred, and she suffered from severe body pain, so intense that she feared for her own life. Initially, she had hoped to distract herself by attending a friend's gathering, but her debilitating condition made it impossible. Fearing the worst, Brittany seized every moment to express her love to her husband and to hold her son, cherishing these moments as if they might be her last. As the day of the delivery arrived, the hospital staff reassured her husband Brett that, despite Brittany's deteriorating condition, her body was still capable of enduring childbirth, though they cautioned it would be both painful and traumatic. Overcome with pain and unable to stop crying, Brittany eventually succumbed to exhaustion and fell asleep. Upon awakening, a nurse gently informed her that her daughter, whom they named Ruby Jo, had been born. The flood of emotions that followed was intense and complex. Brittany was heartbroken by the realization that she would never get the chance to mother her beautiful girl or watch her blossom into the woman she was meant to be. Although relieved that Ruby Jo would no longer suffer, this relief turned to shock and profound sorrow when she saw the doctor holding her baby's lifeless body. In that moment, overwhelmed by a mix of sadness, anger, and guilt, Brittany's body became numb, and she broke down in tears, momentarily wishing it were she who could be laid to rest instead of her child. How could she possibly continue living when her child was no longer alive? In her deepest despair, feeling like giving up on life and even distancing herself from her family, it was the gentle voice of her husband that brought her back from the brink. He whispered softly to her, It's okay, you did it. She's finally home and she's perfect. She's not in pain anymore. I am so proud of you. These words cut through the fog of her grief, bringing a moment of clarity and calm back into Brittany's world. Despite the devastating loss of a child, Brittany began to realize that losing herself, especially when she still had a family who deeply loved her, would be an even greater tragedy. Over time, Brittany and her husband Brett would come to understand that their baby, Ruby Jo, never had a chance of survival, but they found solace in knowing she was now at peace and free from pain. Due to a severe heart defect, their newborn daughter would have only survived a few hours outside the womb. Understanding this, the decision to act swiftly was critical, any delay would have meant immense suffering for little Ruby Jo. It was a heartbreaking realization for the parents, yet affirming in its own way, as they knew their choice was rooted in deep compassion for their daughter. Whitney is immensely grateful for the unwavering support she received from her husband during this harrowing time. She often reflects on his comforting words that helped sustain her through moments of despair. Whenever she feels overwhelmed, recalling his encouragement gives her the strength to find her footing again. While the loss of their baby continues to be a source of profound sorrow, it has paradoxically strengthened the bonds within their family. This ordeal has also deepened Whitney's faith, bringing her closer to God and equipping her with the fortitude to face future challenges. Despite the deep pain and heartbreak this loving and kind family endured, their resilience shines through.
they have persevered by continually supporting each other, never losing hope, and allowing their harrowing experience to transform them into better, more compassionate individuals. After watching this story, how do you feel? Feel free to share with us in the comments section below, and then there is an another similar story. Let's expect what will happen. On that same remarkable day, Lana and Laura, twin sisters known for their indestructible connection, both gave birth. This incredible occurrence, which appeared almost too perfect, filled the sisters with immense happiness as they welcomed new members to their families. Over the years, sharing every major life milestone only deepened their bond. Seven years on, however, a shocking find during a review of old family photographs set their hearts pounding with both excitement and anxiety. They uncovered a detail so minor yet so significant that it cast doubt on the story they had always accepted as truth. Lana and Laura, who met bi-weekly, had sons who were best friends and enjoyed playing together. However, Laura started to notice something odd about the boys that made her wonder if she had missed something when they were infants. Committed to solving this mystery, she decided to search through an old photo album filled with baby pictures. Initially, Laura had requested to borrow the album from Lana, but it turned out their mother had kept it, unaware of its importance. Together, they began to scrutinize the photographs. Laura voiced her suspicions to Lana, who became just as curious. At first glance, everything in the album appeared normal. Nevertheless, when they came upon a photo of themselves holding their newborn sons, Laura spotted a peculiar detail. Hesitant and not wanting to cause alarm prematurely, Laura kept turning the pages, intent on discovering the truth behind her suspicion. She reflected on how odd and seemingly perfect their pregnancies had been. Lana and Laura had always embodied twin stereotypes, doing everything together, from wearing matching outfits to attending the same schools and sometimes even having crushes on the same boys. Interestingly, Lana's labor started a week earlier than planned, resulting in both sisters giving birth on the same day, just hours apart. This almost unbelievable coincidence had baffled their doctors, and while Lana saw it as fate, Laura had always harbored some doubts. Now, armed with the intriguing revelation from the photo album, Laura knew she needed to delve further to grasp the full implications of what they had discovered. As they continued to explore the depths of their shared history, the sisters prepared themselves for whatever truths might emerge. As the sisters delved further into their intertwined histories, they braced for discoveries that could transform their perception of their indissoluble connection. Laura was besieged by a growing number of concerns and unresolved queries about their birth. Overcome by worry, she chose to momentarily put these fears aside, convincing herself that there was likely no reason for alarm since the family photo album was now intact and nothing appeared out of place, at least nothing that Lana had perceived, which might have validated Laura's apprehensions. This was the reassurance Laura offered her twin sister, though she secretly committed to investigating the enigma more thoroughly, intent on protecting Lana from her suspicions for the time being. Before Lana left, Laura took the chance to photograph their sons together. What started as a simple activity to capture memories had morphed into a significant search for the truth. With each photo comparison, it became increasingly evident that her son displayed all the characteristics of Lana and James, yet noticeably lacked several distinct features typical of the Laura family lineage, which both boys should have possessed. Each image seemed to echo the unsettling questions she had been too scared to express. Laura's mind was filled with scenarios and questions tracing back to the boy's birth. She realized that the forthcoming revelations would alter everything. Addressing James with her heart pounding, just as it had in the privacy of their home, she presented the photograph, her voice quaking as she communicated her concerns. Look at them, James! Can't you see the differences are too stark to overlook? She spoke of paternity and unvoiced fears that had taken root in her heart, seeking reassurance or even a denial that might alleviate her doubts. Yet, Laura's appeal for empathy and shared concern met with a barrier of skepticism. James quickly dismissed her worries, unwilling to consider her suspicions. This left her feeling isolated and adrift in a sea of uncertainty. This response was uncharacteristic of the partner she knew, the man who was privy to her life and secrets. In the ensuing silence, Laura's determination only grew stronger. 
She resolved to uncover the truth, not only for her own peace of mind but also for the well-being of her son and the integrity of her family. Navigating the hospital bureaucracy turned out to be a test of patience and resolve. This betrayal was not just a breach of trust, time, she nurtured the hope that she could move past the hurt and rebuild her life anew. This fracture at the core of their family life had irreversibly changed the future Laura had imagined with James and Lana. Recognizing the necessity to address this issue, she knew she must bring the secret to light to stop it from silently poisoning their lives. With resolve, though her heart was heavy, Laura took up the phone to speak with Lana and James, prepared to confront whatever awaited her. Her fingers trembled as she held the phone and dialed Lana's number first. Maintaining a steady voice, she stated, We need to talk. Amidst a storm of emotions inside her, Laura decided to face the situation directly by calling James next. As she articulated her feelings of betrayal, she stressed the need for clear communication to avoid further misunderstandings. Laura was fully aware of the significant impact this conversation would likely have, knowing it would change their lives forever. After hanging up, the reality of her discovery demolished the facade she and James had upheld, like a devastating tidal wave. James was visibly shocked, his guilt evident, while Anna's face twisted in expressions of regret and despair. The whispered confessions echoed through the room, leaving a palpable silence in their wake. Following this confrontation, Laura stood at a pivotal juncture. The truth was now revealed, the secrets that had once cloaked their seemingly perfect family life were now exposed, demolishing any previous illusions she had harbored. Despite the profound hurt from the betrayal, Laura felt a newfound sense of clarity and purpose. This ignited within her a determination to reconstruct her life independently, free from the shadows of deceit. She resolved that divorcing James was a crucial step to protect her dignity and provide a stable environment for her children. This decision strained the once solid bond between Laura and Lana, changing their relationship forever. While it was hard to imagine forgiving the recent pain and betrayal, Laura endeavored to keep a friendly relationship for the sake of their sons. The boys, oblivious to the complexities of the adult world, maintained their innocent friendship, reminding her of what was truly important. Gradually, Laura began to envision a future where the past's pain was just a memory, not a shackle. Over time, she fostered the hope that she could overcome the anguish and reconstruct her life anew. Over time, she cautiously began to consider the idea of forming new relationships, facing the future with renewed optimism and a strong belief in her capability to handle any challenges. Along her journey, which began with a shocking betrayal, she embraced her independence and realized the strength of her own spirit. James viewed the divorce as a critical juncture in his life that propelled him towards personal liberation and self-redefinition. Laura experienced unexpected joy as she endeavored to repair her life. Remaining open to new opportunities, she recognized that while her path might be peppered with hurdles, she was armed with a new outlook and a resilient spirit to tackle any forthcoming challenges. For James, the divorce was more than the conclusion of his marriage, it signified a journey towards freedom and the discovery of a new self. Similarly, Laura found happiness in the most unexpected places as she began to heal her broken life. Do you have any insights after watching the above too? Feel free to tell us in the comment sections below. If you found this story engaging, you'll likely be touched by the next video set to play on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos.